listen to me, you cannot change until you recognize the problem. You can't. In fact, you can't change what you're willing to tolerate. All that stuff you're compensating for and you're tolerating your life, you're not able to change. This is why Jesus asked him, do you want to be well? You know why he would ask that? I believe Jesus asked him this question, not to be rude, not to be like, like abrupt to him, not to overlook a situation. I think Jesus knew you can't just help somebody who needs help. You can only help somebody who wants help. Do you want to be made well? He asked a very specific question. Do you want to be made well? You know what the greatest hindrance to your faith is? Do you like walking by faith and living by faith? You know what the greatest hindrance to your faith is? Some people would think it's like the opposite maybe is doubt. Oh, doubt, man. When I get all doubtful and I'm doubting God, doubting his word, doubting his promises, that's the greatest hindrance of my faith. Other people say fear. Oh, you let fear come in the way and it's going to prevent your faith or worry to come in the way and that's preventing your faith. I would submit to you that the greatest hindrance of your faith are not those things. Those are hindrances. But I think the greatest hindrance to your faith is the familiar. It's the things that you become so comfortable with, making excuses about compensating for in your life. You see, you don't understand Jesus, I've been in the same situation for 38 years. I've been unable to walk. You don't understand. I've tried everything possible, and here's my resume of excuses of why I'm not able to do it, and I don't like it, but I learned to manage my life around it, and you accept what is instead of believing God for what could be. 